This wax head back at you again. Um, I'm gonna jump right into this one. I hope this helps somebody. If it helps one person, great. Um, some of you may like this, some of you may not. Uh, I'd like to hear some comments, and um, you know, I'd like to see somebody uh, do something with this because I really haven't fleshed it out yet. I do a lot of experimentation, but um, the MV uh has a secret button press on it that chops and screws stuff. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, this is my method, let's say, of what I call the chop and screw the MV way or the way it is built into the MV, if that makes any sense. So let's jump into this. This is what I got right here in the audio phrase. So mostly everybody knows that song. It's uh, Groove Me by Guy. Now this is what I, I did with it. Um, things to notice. If you notice, my BPM up here is 6. Um, my course tune, I'm turning down to minus 6. I like minus 6. Um, my BPM sync is on. Stretch type is auto. Uh, I'm going to get into this later. But uh, the BPM bass note and the uh, notation here, uh, that is important as well as the BPM but I'll get into that later. Um, now check out how it sounds and I'm gonna let it ride out and you tell me what you think about it. Okay, enough of that. Um, I don't know about you, but I felt like I was sipping on some scissor. But um, I don't know. That sounded uh kind of alright to me. Um, it's definitely usable for some people who uh, do that type of thing. And that's not even getting into chopping it up and then rearranging it how you want it. But that sounded alright. Um, I'm gonna give you another instance here. Where let me see here. I did this uh, a little bit differently. Um, let me bring this one up. Uh, oh, yeah. What we have going on here, ooh, that's right. In this instance, the BPM I'm setting to 25. Uh, base note here is actually 644. 
course two stays the same at minus six. BPM sync is on, of course, auto. Um, this notation here is the same thing. Uh, now let's how I, let's hear how how this one sounds. Um, this this is what I would call a uh, well, a new uh, one of the new Thundercat type DJs. If you're into DJing, one of these new Thundercat type dudes will call this a uh, a chase or strobing with a tap pause pattern in a chopped and screwed way. Now old school like me will call uh, I don't know chasing or strobing, echoing or doubling up double beating or whatever but um new jacks will call this uh chasing the strobing with a tap pause and a um on a chopping screw tip but uh check it out <laughs> idea um again i think it's very usable if you're into that type of thing it's kind of interesting uh what actually is going on there um i'm really not sure because i was just like experimenting like what really is going on because uh i don't know what the original base note of this was because i imported it like a year ago almost and I was toying with it. Um, all I know is that uh, to do this, you got to drop your BPM kind of low, and um, you got to play with your notation here uh, to what sounds right, and you got to play with this bass note. You, it's something that you just got to really just experiment with. Just go through, make it a high number, make it a thousand, you know make it a low number make it a hundred and and you just got to scroll through and just and just keep playing with it till uh you get it to where you want it now um there are bass notes with this notation like if you the smaller you make the uh like see what to see with the double double staff there and then like the one little thingy coming off you get in your 16th and your eighth or whatever this number is gonna change by like half. Every time you move this thing, you're gonna to have to half the number. There's some weird math going on or whatever. You'll kind of figure it out if you experiment with it a lot. But uh, I mean, that's what that is. There's also other stuff going on here too. Like if you if you raise the, uh, get some interesting things going on if you raise the um, the pitch the other way. <laughs> Hi, 
yeah there's some like kind of drum and bass type stuff going on in there if you're into that and um you can resample and chop and do some real weird things i ain't into that but you know somebody may come across this and uh it may spark some imagination or creativity in them or what but there's definitely there's a whole bunch of stuff in here when you start playing with this this note here and this on um long audio files there's a there's a whole bunch of gold nuggets in there it's definitely something to check out you may want to add to your uh, your repertoire um the only thing is like re-triggering this stuff you can always re-trigger when you anything you change down here it's not like in real time as to where like when you change uh when you change the bpm you could do it in real time jack the bpm up real time it'll change with you So that's the real, the real only real time control you have is with the uh, actually changing the BPM. Everything else, when you play with stuff down here, you will have to re-trigger it. Um, other than that, play around with it. There's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of stuff in here. When you start freaking these things here and the BPM, there's a lot of useful stuff in there that you can resample and then... Um, chop up and and do whatever with uh like i said i haven't really fleshed this out the whole way yet it's something i'm still experimenting with but i just said i'll throw it out there because it may be useful to somebody um i don't think i have anything else besides that Let me, you know what There's something else on here <laughs> I just thought that was interesting because the words were skipping around, but the beat pretty much, you had that bass drum and snare just like right on the one, two, one, two. Interesting, something I'm still playing with, but that's what I mean. Just um, just fart around, just try to freak the, uh, the settings here and see what you can come up with. Um, I think I've been on too long, so peace to all the MV users. And peace to the nation. And I believe I'm waxed at. And I'm out. Till next time. Holla.